we should get out now. Forget this American business. We've got enough. Not yet enough. Here she comes. Remember to smile. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight he has truly earned your adulation. The future Prime Minister of this great country, Sir Oswald Mosley. this woman so I won't act as if she is beautiful as well. Mosley? Diana, this is Tony Shelby, MP, OBE, Mr. Shelby, Lady Diana Mitford. Oswald's most recent and last ever mistress. And this is my wife, Lizzie Shelby. Beautiful earrings. Oh, I stole them from Tiffany's. Actually, he bought the earrings in Paris. We were in Paris on our honeymoon. God, I hate Paris. Hmm. Hey, you prefer Berlin? Oswald and I are going to marry there, aren't we, Oswald? Hmm. Honestly, uh, I have business to discuss. Perhaps you and I could find someone a bit uh, quieter, eh? Darling, Mr. Shelby just made the astonishing suggestion that we men go off and discuss business while you women wait around looking glamorous. <laughs> Goodness. What year do you think this is, Mr. Shelby? 1807? Oh, in Birmingham, the centuries grind by quite slowly. Mr. Shelby, if it's business, Diana is the engine of my enterprise. It's the modern way, Mr. Shelby. Yes, we know. I am company director. I will join the meeting as well. But of course, you must come as well, Elizabeth. By the way, I really don't like Lizzie. I prefer liberated Elizabeth. She must be part of this. She's been all the way to Paris, so she is a woman of the world. Bravo. Do you know, Oswald's told me everything. <laughs> Only three. Because I know these days Mr. Shelby doesn't. Our friend in Berlin doesn't either. Well, they have that in common at least. Oh, I imagine they have lots in common. Hmm. Report to me, Shelby. Officially, Jack Nelson is in London to buy import licenses. And unofficially, he's Roosevelt's envoy. Well, as you can see from this private letter, he is far from a neutral point of view. Look at the bottom of the second paragraph. Individually, Jews are fine, but as a race, they stink. Hmm. Elizabeth, do you even know why the bridge to President Roosevelt is so important? Actually, no, I don't really know much about this business at all. But I have fucked your future husband, so I know lots of things about him. Tommy, I'll be outside. Well done, Elizabeth. <clears throat> Do you people want to meet Nelson or now? Mr. Shelby, from now on, can I call you Thomas? If you like. Of course we would. And we are very grateful for your efforts. But Mr. Shelby, before this enterprise goes any further, you really must do something about your wife. <laughs> 